Hi, everybody. Uh, we're going to shoot an In My Wardrobe. So In My Wardrobe is a segment where we go through garments that have been in our wardrobes for a while and have stood the test of time. So today I'm going to show my very first Drake's tie, which also happens to be a bespoke tie. Um, I had this made, I think, in about 2008. At the time, I wanted a shorter tie um, because I found that most ties on the market were too long for me. And then I found out that Drake's was able to make custom ties, so I went to go have a look. Um, I marched up to the factory on Garrett Street. Uh, so this was actually before I took over the company in 2010. And the factory was located in the old, um, the old postal depot uh, for Clark and Well. Um, Drake's and Michael Drake at the time had taken over the old postal depot and converted it into a factory. So that's where I went. And uh, Michael happened to be there too. So Michael gave me a little bit of help um, with the fabric and most importantly with the lining because the interlining for the tie makes a big difference in like how the knot will turn out and how it will kind of float on your body. All right, let's have a closer look at the tie itself. So I picked this dark green pattern. It's what we call a silk foulard. So that means that it's small geometric prints throughout. Um, it's a pale blue and kind of pinkish uh, dot inside for the flower. It's seven centimeters wide by 142 centimeters long. It's got the old Drake's logo, which I'm still very fond of, although I do like our new logo a lot as well. And uh, it's also got a few features common to Drake's tie. So we've got the scalloped end like that as well as the MD composition label, which we don't use anymore, but we did for many, many years. The MD actually stood for Michael Drake. So if you have a Drake's tie, have a look and see if you have the MD composition label. All right, let's put this thing on and have a look. You know, what I found out after I had this tie made was that um, I wanted a smaller knot. And just because you've narrowed it and shortened it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get that smaller knot because you need to actually make adjustments to the neck part, like the middle panel of the necktie. But I am very happy with how this tie turned out. I still wear it from time to time. Wait. See, like, between, like, that nice, heavy printed silk and that heavy interlining, you get a lot of body and shape in the dimple and in the knot. Um, Following on from this, and by the way, this is how you should always take off a tie. You should always undo it. Don't like try to yank it through because that just destroys the tie and also hurts my feelings a lot. Um, I went back to the drawing board because I wanted to have a replica of my dad's old ties. And so I actually had the factory dismantle one of my dad's old ties and make a new pattern out of it. So this is a more modern Drake's bespoke tie. It's got the new logo. It's got the new style bespoke label, which is navy with gold lettering. And in my case, um, the middle section here is much narrower than the old one. You don't have to pardon all the fuzziness. You know, part of the problem of having hands like mine is that I pull these things apart so quickly, unfortunately. All right, so let's have a look and see how this looks on. You know, I wanted to have a small knot tie because I just find it goes nice, uh, more nicely with, um, with narrow lapel clothes. Um, and, you know, since I've been on kind of an Ivy style kick for a while, uh, it's nice to have these smaller knot ties. I don't know if I did a good job there. It's also something you see on Prince Charles a lot. If you look at Prince Charles's knots, they tend to be very compact as well. Ah, I don't know. Turned out okay. So there you go, my first Drake's bespoke tie from more than 10 years ago. I'm still glad I have it, it's still in good shape and uh, kind of a more modern one. And uh, if you ever want to ask actually for my pattern at the factory, you are more than welcome to. Just mention you want Mark's pattern um, and they'll produce this for you. So it's eight centimeters wide, 142 centimeters long, and a little bit narrower in the next section so you end up with a smaller knot. There you go, thanks for watching.